Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and I appreciate you being here at the channel today. And for those of you that are not yet done so, you know, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And if you find the information beneficial, please hit that like button as well. Now, our topic for you today is five ways to differentiate your gym. Five ways to differentiate your gym. Now, you know, differentiation, you know, the thing about differentiation, if you truly do it, you know, this is really one of the ways you eliminate competition. It's one of the ways that you command a higher price point. It's one of the ways that you expand your market base. And so whether you're a gym owner or operator, if you're, if you're an individual salesperson, you know, how do you, how do you differentiate yourself from other salespeople that are out there? So let's talk about five ways uh, to differentiate your gym and what you do. And so here's the first question you want to ask yourself. What makes you so special? Okay. What makes you so special? Okay. What, what makes you so unique? What are you doing? What are you providing that nobody else is doing? What is it? Okay. And one of the best things you can do is go out and shop your competition. Look and, and see what other folks are doing. What is being missed in your marketplace? What can you now bring to this marketplace? Because now all of a sudden, if you had defined this as kind of this unique selling position, again, this is going to widen uh, your base you're going to pull from. It's going to command higher price points. Okay. And in many ways, it's going to eliminate your competition. So sit down and think about this. What makes you so special? What are you doing that nobody else is doing? It's the first question you want to ask yourself. You know, number two, you know, what do you stand for? You know, what is it you stand for? What are your core values here? Okay. You know, what is your responsiveness? you know, to your customer, you know, what is it, you know, in terms of what do you stand for? What is it you would draw a line in the sand for? Okay. So know what you stand for. Okay. Another way to look at this, how are you going to make a difference? You know, how are you going to really make a difference? Because the more we, we establish this and understand this, you know, this can be, this can be, uh, kind of the, uh, the, the groundwork for really getting salespeople to really get behind something and really to market it and promote it and sell it. Hey, here's what we stand for. Here's how we can make a difference. And here's how we will make a difference in our customers' lives. Number three, who do you uniquely serve? Who do you uniquely serve? And so do you have a specific niche that you're working for? Okay. You know, what can we do better at? You know, one of the big mistakes that's made is we try to be all things to all people. You know, define that niche. Who, who is your audience? Who are you looking for? You know, I'll, I'll give you an example on this. It's like, I know when I've attended like networking events sometimes, and I hear this a fair amount, I'll use a, I'll use a different industry as an example here. It's, it's, I use the real estate industry and you'll get an agent that comes up and says, yeah, so if you're looking to you know, buy a house or sell a house, you know, someone that wants to, you know, have them give me a call. Boy, that is so broad. We're not really, we're not really narrowing that down enough. And it, it could be something as simple, hey, in my specialty, well, I can help kind of anybody who's interested. You know, my specialty is maybe, you know, newlywed couples who are living in an apartment looking to buy a house. Now, all of a sudden, you have a niche. This is who you uniquely serve. You know, could be first first time home buyers. It could be ones that are looking to go up. So that's just an example. Because part of what you want to do when you look at all this, you know, look outside the fitness industry as well. What are other people doing? What mistakes do they make? What are they doing that works really well? Let's really define this true differentiation. This is one of the secrets to really growing and developing your business. Um, number four, what pain points are not being addressed? What pain points for your customer are not being addressed? You know, what customer needs or customer frustrations are not being served? What customer needs or customer frustrations are not being served? And part of this, you know, start asking people, you know, start asking your members, you know, start doing surveys, you know, what customer needs are not being addressed? The more you can understand this, you know, the more you can provide, you know, true differentiation, you know, in your marketplace. And then number five, what's your story? Okay. You know, what's your story? You know, 
yeah, here, here you are, here's the name, here's the business, but what's your compelling story behind this? You know, what made you get in this? What made you decide that you wanna get up and do this every single day? And I know, you know, I've told the story before, this was a, a sales manager at a gym, and uh, what, what she used to keep on her desk was what she referred to, affectionately so, uh, was her fat book. And what it, what it did, it, it created this journey through time for her of you know, how she had gained a pretty fair amount of weight, how she had lost it, and ultimately had become like a champion power lifter at the age of 50. And it was a great backstory, okay? And it really helped her resonate um, you know, with all of, her, uh, all of her customers and her members and prospects that came in. It worked very well. And so for you, what is your backstory? Okay, what do people need to know about you? Okay, where does your passion come from on this? So take a look at this. You want to get true differentiation. It'll help you eliminate competition, help you command higher price points, and it'll expand and widen the market that you're going to pull from. Folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. We look forward to seeing you all in that next video.